<sighs> Too bad I have to do this like twice and stuff. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series in Sword version. Now, in our last episode, we went to the Tower of Water, and we managed to evolve our Kofu into Urshifu, the quick strike form. That, and we got ourselves like a, quite a few Alolan Pokemon for getting all 151, uh, 151 Diglets. If you guys want to know how to do all that, you know, the well, on the description it will be the link to how to get all those 151 Diglets and all that stuff. And, uh, well, here we are right here in the final portion of this, uh, of this adventure right here in the uh, Isle of Armor. We have to go into the uh, dojo because the sensei is going to be waiting for us right here. And, uh, well, let's see what exactly he has for us. So there he is waiting for us. And are you freaking kidding me, man? I swear to God, you're like... Oh my god! You know what? I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my comments to myself because this guy just gets on my nerves. Anywho, here's Hop. Oh hey, welcome back, Draven. Looks like you've been hard at work keeping uh at keeping up uh, your training here in the dojo, eh? Uh, I'm just gonna be like, oh Hop, you're here too. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna go. What are you doing here? Surprise! A hey, nicely done and nicely done, Draven. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Armor to research more about Dynamax Phenomena. So I hear that you are two, uh, you two are friends. How delightful! I'm, I'm kind of forced to be his friend, okay? So just leave me alone, man. Hoppykins, here was just a uh, Hoppykins was here asking for my permission to camp out at the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun in, mu in mucking about in the mud? I was telling him that he should stay here at the dojo. I mean. It'd be loads easier than camping out for a while, uh, for a long while. But wouldn't I be in the way? Everyone's welcome in the, or everyone's welcome to wear out the, their welcome at the master dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're the little brother of our Leon, after all. Hm. Yeah, it's true. Lee did train here when we were both kids. All right then, Master Mustard, you've twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it because I'm staying. Oh, great. You're going to regret it, Master Mustard, okay? I'm just going to say it right now. Whew. The more, the merrier. I'm pleased to punch in the gold-plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, Draven. I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kafu, or really, its evolution, Urshifu. The truth of it's a lovable rascal is capable of Gigantamaxing too. But it's a bit tricky because it really can't stand the taste of Max Mushrooms. So Max Soup is off the menu unless you can uh, make it more appealing to it. There's a certain something that you can find here on the Isle of Armor, though that will make it even Urshifu, or that will make even uh, Urshifu gobble up a, uh, a bowl of Max Soup. And the certain something is... The certain something... Wait, 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 wait. That certain something, it's actually... The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Actually, I forgot what it is. Oopsie doopsie. Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. The certain something I'm thinking of is sure to make uh, Max Soup more pla uh, pla or palatable? palatable for Urshifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now I've got, I, I now I think I'll let you two figure it out. Uh, just what it is. Give it a good think uh, to, uh, together. You're on your own, kiddos. The world or the world is your own cloister. So get cracking. Oh, crap baskets. Really? Uh, is this uh your how your training actually goes? I've really got no rapidness in the race, but even I'm pretty curious about the certain something. I think I read something about Urshifu in a book once, too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said that it lives in the mountains in some far-off region. Uh, it does it really. Huh. You don't even know? Don't you have one, Draven? But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Draven! Honey is made from the nectars of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made by a Pokemon that looks like po uh, flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, then I reckon there might be a lots in the forest. I'll be able to look into uh, Dynamaxing along the way, so count on me for some exploration. 
There's a forest past the big marshland, right? Bet I could still beat you there. Yeah, I'm flipping you off, buddy. I'm flipping you off. Great! Awesome! Fantastic! So, it looks like that we're going to have to actually go into some kind of forest and all that stuff. Because, well, you know... The, uh... Yeah, the, the dynamaxing of this Pokemon right here depends on some kind of honey. Because it's a bear and all that stuff. Yeah, I get it. I freaking get it. Okay. So, let's see. You know what? Before we do anything, I gotta put my Pokemon back into the, uh, back into my teams right here because I am not going to risk this. So, let's go ahead and put back Blitzkrieg. Let's go with Quackor the Foul. How I missed you guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, so Optimus Prime is going in. And here we go with a good old Baconator. Now, I do want to keep, uh, Michelangelo into the PC for right now and bring back another Pokemon, which hopefully I'll find out what it is. Dumbledore. Hmm. Let's see. What kind of Pokemon do I have still? I mean, I could bring back Krakatoa, but that's for the other version. Uh, you know what? Here's Bex. We do have a Fire-type Pokemon. Nessie, a Gaia number two, Hydra. And look at that, Godzilla, Godzilla, ready to go. Okay, so you know what? Screw it. Really doesn't matter. Oh, Grimmsnarl. I forgot to nickname it and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go right ahead and... I guess we're gonna have to put Dumbledore back into the uh, into the fold right here, just for a little bit. It's not like we're gonna be using him or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's go straight to the forest. Now, this is another separate uh, a K or another separate adventure just to get this Pokemon to gigantic max. Now remember, uh, both Dark and Water type Pokemon of uh, Urshifu. They do have their different forms, just like, you know, the typical Blastoise, Charizard, and what have you. So let's go right ahead and find that force and, you know, get rid of a uh, hop because really, we don't not, we're like, you guys already know my feelings about this guy. I really don't like him. Do not. Trust me, I am not looking forward to going into the remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. We all know how much I hate hop too, or berry. Okay, so here's Hop, and he's like, finally, Draven. I've been waiting for you, uh, ever for you. I thought Grim, uh, Glim, Glimwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is entirely different level. And it's so hot and humid, and I'm sweating at a pond over here. I split up places to survey, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. <laughs> Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us, too. We'd both feel a, l a little bit better. Anyway, I was checking out the forest of focus in place while I was waiting for you to show up. And I saw signs of uh, signs that Lilligant and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu, sweet nectar that Urshifu should uh, love from their flowers and fruit. Okay. I, I guess. Okay, so look at that. Oh, look at that. The Mulga. Huh. It's another Pokemon right there. And would you look at that. Tilly. Okay, so it's uh, it's giving me focus, and what is a, uh, let's see, oh damn, okay, so let's see, oh look, it's a Petalil. Petalil evolves into Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Whew. Okay, alright, alright. Hey, doesn't that Petalil uh, seem to be acting a little strange? Yeah, it kind of looks like it's looking for something. It looks a bit lost. Yeah! Now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it just got separated from its parents. Oh, look at this. Pedal oh, look at the pedal. Oh, my God. Kind of looks like my niece when she was like, I don't know, one year old when she could walk. Oh, my God. Dilly! Whoa! Whoa, are you glooming onto me, mate? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You've got to help us here, Draven. Go find us a pillow of those uh, parents or something, would you? For look for somewhere looking Lilligant. I'll wait here for this. Uh, I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step into it uh, and I start walking around. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, look for this uh, this Lilligant or yeah. Let's go for the look for the Lilligant now. Look at that. There's a Pikachu in the yes. wild. Not going to capture it. There's quite a few Pokemon here, guys, that you can actually capture. Very rare Pokemon. Tangela comes to mind. And, well, I'm going to be picking up some stuff along the way, too. And would you look at that? It's a pretty cool-looking Pokemon right there. So, let's see. There's a Tangela. 
And looking forever. Oh, look, a TM. Maybe we should get that. And, uh, well, get that and actually get attacked by a Tangela. And Urshifu is ready to go, but too bad we're not going to be doing much with this guy right here. Now, I never caught a Tangela, so might as well do it right now while I'm at it. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw a few Ultra Balls at this guy right here. So, here we go. Ultra Ball, go. And, no, this Tangela does not want to get captured too easily like that. And that was not good at all. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of not. I, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Forgot. Completely forgot this Pokemon is a Water-type Pokemon, too. So... Yeah, avoid Grass-type Pokemon at all costs. And let's go with the Blue Apricorn. And yes, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab ourselves that TM right there that we forgot to grab. And yes, we got ourselves a few wattage. Grab this, got ourselves Slug, sl uh, slug Wave or Sludge Wave. And it's a pretty good move. TR, I should say. And well, let's get the heck out of there. Yes, good Urshifu. Waiting for us right there on the side. And, well, let's see. Let's see if we can actually find this Lilligant. Shouldn't be that far now. It will actually tell you what Lilligant it is. Let's see. Not right there. Could be right here. Pikachu. Nope, that's a Pikachu. Um, okay, so it's not right there. God dang, I really do hate this forest just because it really is a maze. I got lost here like quite a few times looking for those Diglets guys. It's really ridiculous. And okay, let's see. Where are we going? Okay, it's not right here. Could be across the bridge right here. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Ah, there she is. How you doing? Where you at? And little. The Lilligan is looking. Uh. Let's see. Lilligan's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking Pokemon right here. Alright, let's go a little closer. See if it doesn't attack us or anything like that. Lily! Uh, have you lost the Piddle? Lilligant! And of course, Lilligant wants to follow you. Lead it to where Hop and Piddle are waiting. And, uh, well, we're just gonna fast forward right. Oh, I thought we were gonna fast forward. But look at that. Two Pokemon following us at the same time. It's pretty awesome right there. Never, I don't think we'll ever see that right there now. We're just going to be running straight back to where, uh, you know, that guy is. And uh, let's see. Okay, how do we... Okay, stay away from the Pokemon. We do not want to battle. Don't worry, guys. That, that little get will not battle with you. I tried it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Look at that. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, tempting things around here. A lot of Pokemon to capture and all that stuff. Holy crud. And, yes, there's some items right here. We found ourselves another big mushroom. There's a Pikachu right there. And, well, let's go ahead and find that uh, dumbass. And there he is. Alrighty. P. Okay, so, uh, where is Lilligant? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm, I'm... Okay, let's talk to this guy right here. Okay, so... After finding Lilligant... He's like, finally, Draven, you found Lilligant! Look at that. The reunion is so sweet. Oh, my God. Lily. Tilly. Okay, okay. <laughs> Looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. Got two. What'd you think, uh, Draven? I say Lilligan is trying to thank you. Lily. Huh. What is it? How's it thinking? Huh. Is this some of the nectar from your flower, Lilligant? And obviously, Lilligant is agreeing with us. You know, it's telling us, yes. Look at that. Look at that baby right there. And, well, just like that, they're going to be off to, you know, their merry way and whatnot. Obviously, hop. You know, like a dumbass. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. See ya, Piddle. See ya, Lilligant. Oh, my God. Nice one, Draven. And now we've got some Lilligant nectar. Hopefully, this is the nectar's, uh, or hopefully, this nectar is sweet and sticky just like uh, Urshifu likes it. Slurp. Hmm. I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is the one you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on! We'll get, uh, let's give Applin Nectar a try. Mm, okay, so where do we find an Applin? I mean, I already 
Oh god, this guy's running away. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to go look for this guy again, just because you know he's so impulsive, kind of like a, a certain someone in another version right here. So, let's see, looking for uh, an Applin, and as many of you guys already know, I already caught an Applin here and there. Now he's not right there, so let's see. Getting the lay of the land, and uh, well, he's not around here either. Alrighty, Tang Tandigrove or Tandigrove? Ah, there we go. And Applin just waiting for us right there. Up! And what do we have here? Oh, an Applin is just like... Holy crud. There! It's an Applin! Apple away! And just like that, it rolls. <laughs> wow! So that's how it moves. It just rolls. Holy crud. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, okay. This is rotten. I don't see the apple in anywhere. But I'm sure it went rolling off this way. Draven, we've got to find that apple in. Uh, have you tried the tree? I mean... Look at that. I mean... It's very logical. <laughs> okay, huh? Something, uh, something wrong with the berry tree? Yay! Oh, damn. Oh, damn! Okay, what the heck? Ouch! That apple and clock you right in the head! And a willian! Oh, I, I don't even know how to say that one right there. Ugh, it ran off that way! Huh? Draven, is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. It might have given us a slip, but at least we still got something to came or we got what we came here for. But is Applin's nectar sweet enough to for Urshifu? Well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding, or the applin. So, let's give it a try. Okay, so are you really slurping things out of my head? You sicko. And who, and who made you an expert? Uh, I'm asking a lot of questions that I really don't want the answer for. So, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't think you describe it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Lilligan's nectar wasn't it. Applin's nectar wasn't it. They weren't really sticky enough to be uh, the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't uh, really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing. So I was looking for plants and flowers, but I was just barking up the wrong tree. Hmm. Peed. Uh, okay, so that must be... Oh, a vanipede. I don't see those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. Dot, dot, dot. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh! <laughs> His brain is working. Holy crud. Okay. Uh, that's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we, what we really need is a Pokemon that uses or that oozes that sort of nectar to produce something else. You just notice. Yes! And when it comes to Pokemon that, uh, that collect and store up lots of nectar and to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? Uh, Beehive Pokemon. The Beehive Pokemon has got have to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Vespiqueen is the Beehive Pokemon, right, Draven? Have you ever seen one? I kind of did on my adventures, you know, trying to, you know. Trying to get those diglets and all that stuff. We never really seen it on uh, on on footage, guys. If we're talking about the Isle of Armor. I think we should find some kind of a island uh, shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. Now that we know where we're going, I'm off. Don't make me wait, Draven. Oh, okay, all right, cool. Like I said, I never really showed that place at all. So, yeah, we're going to have to go back to the Tower of Water and actually find a, yeah, find the honeycomb island. Now, I never showed it I never showed it to you guys on footage because well, you know, we we're doing, you know, adventures elsewhere and all that stuff. Uh, but this this is going to be an interesting one right here, guys. It is a very nice looking place. It does look like a honeycomb. And it's not too far from here because uh, look at that. The tower is right there. So let's get the heck out of here. Not get attacked by any of these Pokemon. I will be capturing you later. And look at that. Stay away from the Barracuda. And look at this. Look at that. Like... It is raining, it is boring, it, the old man is snoring, and... Ah! 
nearly got hit by that Pokemon. And, well, I think that's the island right there. God dang, these Starmies stuff pop out. And yes, we still have to worry about the, uh, the Sharpedo that run around here, but this is the island that we're actually going to be going to. Look at that, a Gyarados. And, wow, these Pokemon just pop up, and there comes a Sharpedo. Let's go right ahead and speed out of here, because, yes, I do not want anything to do with a Sharpedo. And this guy sounds like he's about to get me. Bam! Honeycomb Island. Ha, ha, ha. You suck. Okay. So here we are in Honeycomb Island, guys. This is a very nice place to actually find some interesting Pokemon. And, well, there is a Lilligant. Not exactly the one that we, you know, we met over on, uh, on the other island. But what we're going to do right now is I'm actually going to stock up on wattage. Because there's quite a few things that I kind of want to, I kind of want to do after we get this whole thing situated. It involves the Master's Wife. It really does. And... Yes, we're probably going to have to stock up on uh, experience candies as well. So let's go right ahead and go right here. And yes, we got another few wattages. We've got some experience candy that we used up on uh, Urshifu when it was a Kubfu. Jar of honey. There we go. And look at that. Okay. Lots of Lilligans right here. Okay, so I think we've gotten everything. And... Let's get the heck off our bikes. See what? Okay, see where this uh, this a hole's at. So here is Hop. There you are, Draven. Glad you can finally make it. Okay, so what's the deal? I've seen loads of Combi around, but no sign of a Best of Queen so far. But they are the ones that have the sticky honey. Hmm. Huh. I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonia, but why is it going off now? You don't say. Right on that tree. Is it reacting to this tree here? Something's got to uh, got to be up, Draven. I think we should check it out. Yeah, thank. Okay, so before we go and check it out, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, switch out this Pokemon right here because, yeah, Vespa Queen is still a flying type. It's still you know bug type and all that stuff. So I might as well go ahead and go with uh, Baconator right here while I'm at it. Let's go. There's a coiling smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? Yes, I will. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, sh shake it. And, well, let's see. There we go. We're going to be shaking this left and right. How are we strong to shake this tree? And that does not sound so good. What's happening now? Uh-oh. Oh, wow, the tree is turning Super Saiyan. Uh, uh-oh. And that, oh, wow. Oh, behave! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so whatever came from that tree sucks you into the Pokemon Den. Alrighty. So here we go in another Dynamax battle. And this is up against Best McQueen. Now, I don't know if you can capture it or not. I think you can. Probably. I think you can capture it. Okay, so it does have pressure. And it is going to allow us to actually Dynamax right here. So let's go right ahead. Dynamax. And start burning the crap out of this Pokemon right here. Alright. <sighs> Time to Digivolve our Pokemon. It has been a while since we've done this. Oh, yes. Here we go. Let's get it. Now, here we have a Dynamax Baconator. Now, I'm trying to find the Gigantamax one. And, well, let's see, level 82, going with the Max Flare for the win. And that wasn't for the win, but still, it got a lot of damage onto this Pokemon right here. And it has changed the battlefield just a bit. The sunlight has gotten harsh. So here comes a Max Airstream. That holy crud baskets! That is uh, holy crap. Okay, so we may have picked the wrong Pokemon for this one right here. We're gonna have to like kiss kiss our, our butts goodbye. And here comes a max order attack and crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Yeah. Can we use another Pokemon? Oh yes, we can. 
I got the Pokemon for the job. Let's go with Quackor the Foul. Let's get this. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Brave Bird Attack it is. It's been a while since I've seen our good old buddy uh, Quackor and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I wasn't expecting that. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh, here we go. Blitzkrieg. Wow, I should have been using the old noggin right here. It's been a while, guys. It really is. Alrighty. <sighs> Overdrive for the win. E oh, wow, I almost defeated this guy right here. And this guy, or this chick, nullified the stats and all that stuff. Wow, and here comes a max flutterby. This is a... Uh, oh, wow, it took a lot of damage right there, so... Yes, we, 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 we are going to definitely feel that for a few days. So let's go with an overdrive attack yet again. And it almost defeats Vespa Queen. And here comes a max flutter by yet again. And uh, there goes Blitzkrieg. So this Pokemon right here took out three of my god dang Pokemon. Good God. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Uh, let's see. What's going on? Oh, I was about to say, we lost already? Alright, so good thing we got ourselves... Oh, wow, we, it's not really a good thing. Holy crap. Holy crap, okay. Let's see. Okay, we need one good hit on this guy right here. and we're, I have no choice but to go with Dumbledore. It is slower than the Vespa Queen, so... One good attack could do it. We're going to go with a Psychic Attack. Here comes a Reversal, and that was a stupid move. How in the heck? Okay, never mind. That was just Vespa Queen being uh, merciful, and there we go. We have defeated Vespa Queen. And no, we, we are not allowed to capture it, I guess. Okay. Never mind. Okay, so there it is. After the aftershocks of the battle, cause a strange comb of honey to fall from above. And there we go. We got ourselves the max honey. Pretty good. And... This right here is a honey that Di or Dynamax Vespa Queen produces. Adding this honey to the max soup makes the taste more very smooth. It also has the same effect as a max revive. Holy crud, okay. Not bad. I well, I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vespa Queen to come swooping out to attack us. I was too shocked to even think of joining you in battle. Okay, I didn't really need your help, but okay, thanks. That is, that is some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's a certain something our fruit loves. And it seems to like the honey it's setting off by a power spot detector, too. The max mushroom and uh, this honey you can find here of the island armor, they both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's tons we don't know about it, so there's tons of research waiting to be done. Come on! You got to get this, uh, or you got to—you got the thing you are looking for. So let's head back to the dojo at once. Okay, all right. We are going to the dojo, so let's go right ahead and uh, let's go ahead and fly back because we can. That's actually that you know, because we are the champions. Yes, my friends. Okay, so let's go straight back to the. Okay, if I can actually get this right right here. Hold on. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go there. Do not care. All right. So here we are, the Fields of Honor. And before we do anything, I think there's a... Huh. No. There's no Pokemon Center or something like that. There was somewhere right here that we can actually heal up our Pokemon. Oh, inside the dojo. Yes. Completely forgot. All right. Get to our bikes. Let's get going. Trying to find some Pokemon. Yes, let's speed it up just a little bit, and well, here we are into the dojo. Okay, 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 alrighty. Okay, so here we are back into the dojo, guys, and let's go ahead and talk to the dojo master. Welcome back, my wandering wooloo. Oh, and what is that sweat I detect? Wafting through the air around you, huh? <laughs> That'd be the max honey for that, or Urshifu loves to, the max. We got our hands in, in, on a l nice haul of it. Did you know already? You put me and Draven up to it, old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. Yeah, I kind of didn't really do much with you, homeboy, so yeah, whatever. 
You did a you did a real bad or a real bang up job finding the max honey and hardly had a hit up from me. Very nicely done, Draven. And our little hob too. You didn't forget a or you didn't forget for a second that uh, what the certain something was, did you? Hmm. Okay, so what's going on here? If we add the max honey to our max soup, even Urshifu will be uh, we're sure want a sip. Oh wow. Well, it's been real, Draven. But I think you've learned uh, just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you, which means that you can, uh, or that you and I can have, uh, or you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come. After all, I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. Oh, okay. All right, so <laughs> it's looking pretty serious, I guess. I guess I don't know. Alrighty, battling the master when he's serious—that's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee all he knows, so Mustard's got to be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for a serious battle, Draven. I guess I better get uh, better start getting serious about the research I came here to do. Good luck to you, uh, to your things, Draven. I'm sure you'll manage like you always do. I'll come dash you right back to catch that battle, even though uh, if you, you do try to take in on the Master Mustard. Huh. Okay, alrighty. So, we're going to leave that off for the next episode, guys. There are quite a few things that I kind of want to do before, and it's going to be minuscule, but it all leads to this final battle right here against Master Mustard. So stay tuned, guys. The next episode, you do not want to miss. We're going to be kicking some ass, taking some names, and all that stuff. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.